head of a local nonprofit now under investigation is defending her actions. LGBTQ advocate Ruby Corrado spoke exclusively with our sister station Telemundo 44 about the D.C. Attorney General's investigation into the nonprofit's bank accounts. As News Force Mark Seagraves reports, Casa Ruby has received millions of dollars from the D.C. government over the years. Ruby Corrado opened the doors of Casa Ruby 10 years ago as a shelter for LGBTQ youth. The nonprofit has received more than $9 million in grants from the district government since 2016. For years, Corrado was hailed as a hero for an underserved community. But recently, questions have been raised about where that money went. I'm not a criminal. I don't commit financial crimes. Speaking with Telemundo 44 from El Salvador, Corrado denied any wrongdoing and says it's the D.C. government that owes Casa Ruby money. They engage in financial strangulation to the point that today the district government has not paid more than $500,000 to Casa Ruby. Earlier this year, the D.C. government cut off funding to Casa Ruby and Corrado stepped down. Oh, I'm very sad about it. But I also know when we give hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars <coughs> and if vendors aren't getting paid, employees aren't getting paid, we've got a problem. Now the D.C. Attorney General has launched an investigation, taking to Twitter, writing he sees a clear pattern of mismanagement, poor oversight, and improper use of grants and donations. The Attorney General's office says Corrado fled the country, withdrawing tens of thousands of dollars in nonprofit funds after failing to pay employees and vendors. Now the AG has gone to court seeking to freeze Casa Ruby's accounts. All of these funds that were both donated and granted, we don't know where they are. We don't know what's happening to them. We don't know how they've been spent. Again, Corrado denies the allegations. But no. I did not take any money. Corrado insists she's being targeted by the D.C. government for her criticism of the Bowser administration and a discrimination complaint she filed against the D.C. Department of Human Services. Because she couldn't deal with a transgender Latina having a platform in the nation's capital and making a decent living. In the district, Mark C. Graves, News 4. Now, a spokesperson for the D.C. Department of Human Services issued a statement saying, in part, we don't publicly comment on the performance of our grantees. We perform due diligence as a matter of regular practice.